if your save data disappeared in pal world do not worry because after watching today's video i'll show you guys how you can get it back it is really easy to do now before we get into that if you guys would go down and leave a like on this video as it helps it out in the algorithm and it will show more people how they can get their saved data back. Additionally if you want to subscribe to the channel it would mean a ton as I plan on posting way more Power World content later in the future. With that out of the way let's get into this tutorial on how you can get your saved data back as it's very easy to do. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go on your desktop and then go to it probably will be the C drive, it could be in a different drive, but it's just essentially a main hub for your computer and then you want to go on the correct user, so you. So the directory should look something like this. Then what you want to do is go to view and you want to select file name extensions as well as hidden items. So make sure both of those are checked to on. And once you check that, you'll see this folder pops up called app data. So we're just going to select that. And then we're going to go to local here. Now we're just going to scroll down until we see pal. And this is going to be for pal worlds. So we're going to open up that folder. Next up, we're going to go to save tier and then save games. And if you see a folder that pops up that looks something like this and click on it, this is your saved game. So if you do see that, that is fantastic. That means you'll be able to grab back that data that disappeared. Now it's important to note that if you have multiple of these folders, that's just because you probably have multiple worlds. And all you have to do to verify that the correct folder applies to the correct world is go onto your pal world, select start game, and then check the date of your world name. Whatever this date is should line up with the date of the folder. And as you can see, those line up. Alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is go to... Alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is click through the folder, and then you want to click through again, and then once more, and then once more again, and you'll see this list of different folders. Now these are going to be all the different world saves that you have and you can just check through the time. If we select the timer here and you just click on it, it will sort them all from the latest. So like the most recent to the world saves from a couple days ago or whenever you had started that world. So if you want the most recent folder here, which would be the most recent world if your save data disappeared or whatnot, is open up the folder and then go ahead and right click and you're going to copy the local data. Then what you want to do is go back once, twice, three times and in this folder right here, you just want to right click and select the paste option which is going to override these files. Now the next thing you want to do is go to the backup folder here and then you want to go to world and you want to select that very same folder that you chose earlier. So if you chose the top one, you want to make sure that you choose the top one here. Now this time, instead of just copying one file, we are going to copy all three. And then once these are copied, we can go back to this folder here. And once again, you're going to right click and hit paste. Now the next thing you want to do is restart Power World, so I'm going to do that right now. And now that Power World is restarted, I'm going to go ahead and go and start the game. And you'll notice that it is our pre-saved world, or at least you, you won't notice, but I'll notice it is going to be the world that I had earlier and my data has no longer disappeared. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to help you guys out. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you later.